Uh, okay, um, I told you I would like to show you how to fight versus Kunimitsu since she's a DLC character and uh, many people don't want to spend money just so they could lab a character and I totally understand that. So uh, I'm gonna go to practice mode right now, tell you some stuff about her, um, about moves you should punish. Uh, I'll tell you about her options from stances, how to move versus her, you know, general stuff, so you would know what you're up against uh, next time you fight versus Kunimitsu. Let me turn off Rage. And I have a couple of notes ready here from my labbing session versus Kunimitsu. So I don't forget what I should be talking about. Oops, my game minimized itself. I won't be able to read the chat right now, so I'm just gonna talk and I'll answer questions later. I think I'm gonna start with her lows first. Do we have hit properties on? Nope. We need to see those. So I'm gonna start with her lows and then talk about her stances and some punishable moves. She has up forward too. Very solo, you can either jab it in the air or just block it on reaction. The animation is very obvious, but it is plus 8 on hit. That hurts and it's a counter hit as well. Counter hit launcher, it's minus 14 on block. And she can cancel it to full crouch, so be ready for that. Some sh shenanigans. Side step 4 is a knockdown loan, very annoying. It's kind of hard to see online if you're not used to the animation. And of course, it staggers on block. Now we can talk about her low pokes. Her low pokes from neutral have pretty bad uh, frames. Down 3 is minus 3 on hit and minus 14 on block. And uh, it has a string, down 3, 4, 1, which reminds me of the William sisters, down 3, 4, 1. Uh, the second hit is a high, so duck it. If you don't duck it, the third hit is minus 11. And don't be surprised if you eat the string online because it's all guaranteed on counter hit. And uh, the first hit down three tracks both ways, so that's nice. Then she is down back four. This is zero on hit, has more range, but it pushes the opponent far away from her. So I think she can't really pressure the opponent too much here. But it is plus 8 on counter hit. Is it not? Yes, it is. And forces crouch, so be careful there. Down back 3 3. This is a special low. The first two hits are natural, because the first hit by itself is minus 14 on hit. Uh, but the frames are terrible. The second hit, well, okay, she has the option of uh, doing more lows, more down back 3 3 threes, and every single low is minus 19 on block. They are all minus 6 on hit. And she can do a mid here to surprise the opponent. It wall splats, it's safe. And uh, if you block down back 3 3 from Kuni, and she throws out the mid, uh, you can interrupt the mid only with a 13 frames fast move. It will trade with 14 frames fast moves. Uh, and if down back 3 3 3 hits, then the 4 is uninterruptible. And it tracks both ways. And down back 4 tracks only to her right. And then she has this quite gimmicky stance called Musasabi. You can float it out of the air, I believe. And she has only two moves here, Musasabi 2, which is a low. I believe it's minus 14 on block. Uh, minus 18. So launch punishable. And Musasabi 4. This is minus 14. Yep. You can sidewalk both options in, in the open quite easily. 
and she can do nothing and go to full crouch again to set up her full crouch stuff and this is where she gets kind of dangerous oh let me scroll down yeah her mm, most dangerous low com comes from full crouch full crouch down for three staggers and block unseeable tracks both ways but um, it tracks worse to her left so in many cases in the open you can sidewalk right versus this, uh, this low and sidewalk right is a pretty decent option versus her full crouch stuff in general she also has full crouch down for two which doesn't hurt it's only plus two on hit minus 12 on block it tracks both ways really well and it has the toe stun animation on counter hit or of course it says it's plus 15 on hit but you don't but she doesn't get anything guaranteed because uh, the opponent can block and she mixes up these two lows with oh I forgot full crouch down for two can also go back to full crouch to reset the situation and then we have the full crouch mids while standing three uh, this one tracks to Kunimitsu's right it's a very linear to Kunimitsu's left so again sidewalk right minus 13 on block and uh, the full crouch low has more range than while standing three so in some situations if you're uh, at further range from Kuni and you want to deal with these two moves you can backdash and duck and this will block the low but avoid the mid let me see if i can show you see you cover b both options but uh, then she also has wall standing 2-4 and this one has more range than wall standing 3. The first hit is safe and the 4 is hit confirmable. It's a high, so duck it. Uh, now wall standing 2 has good tracking to both sides, so it's, it's kind of hard to sidewalk right versus wall standing 2, but it is possible. And... Uh, then she has while setting 1-1, one, one. this is only mostly used as a punisher, both hits are safe. Uh, and she has several ways of entering full crouch, I already told you about Musasabi, up forward 2 cancel and full crouch down forward 2. She can go from down 4, back turn down 3, back turn down 4, down forward 3 to cancel. Up for two cancel. I already, already talked about that. Set three, which is z zero on hit, and this is minus sixteen on block and a very linear move. So you can sidewalk it, and if you block it, don't forget to launch it if you can. Uh, I think that's it for her full crouch transitions. I hope I didn't miss anything. Oh, down back two. Yeah, how could I forget? Down back 2 is dangerous because it's plus 7 on hit and goes to full crouch. So if you get hit by down back 2, you pretty much have to take the mix up. And uh, she has a string from this. Down back 2, 4, 2. And you should know how to deal with this string because it's a good string. I'll show you. The first two hits are safe, but the third hit is interruptible, even with a launcher. Uh, you can interrupt it with an up to 17 frames fast move on block. And the last hit is a launcher, so uh, be sure, make sure you don't get hit by it. Um, so yeah, I'd say this is the most dangerous full crouch move Kunimitsu has, like transition to full crouch because it can be plus 7 on hit. So yeah, 
you have to take the mix up here. Whereas if Kunimitsu does set three, for example, you know it's neutral on hit. So you don't have to let Kunimitsu mix you up. You can interrupt her with a while sending four or something. So a good, uh, good option. Uh, okay, that's it for her full crouch stuff. And now she has another stance called Setsuna Dadake. Set is the abbre abbreviation used for it. The main strategy here is sidewalk right again. She has a couple of decent moves from here, namely set 2, safe counter hit launching mid. You can sidewalk right, but it can be difficult to sidewalk. Set 3, I already mentioned, minus 16 on block. Set 4 is a mid poke that goes to back turn stance. And she has an, an extension from this. Set 4 3, which is minus 13 on block. Or you can even step the second hit. Easily. And launch. Then she has, oh so yeah, set 1-2. This is another important move from set. Set 2 and set 1-2 strings are her most important set moves, I'd say, because set 1-2 is hit confirmable, the second hit is a high, so duck it. And she has three mid extensions from here. Set 1-1-1, one, one, one. set 1-2-2, two, two. and set 1-2-4. And she has these three mid extensions from her 1-1 uh, as well, and from back turn 1-2. We will talk about these mid extensions later, since they're quite important. For now, I'm gonna keep talking about set. She has access to her set throws. This is up forward 1 plus 2, you break it by pressing 1 plus 2, or set 1 plus 4. Here you have to press 1 to break it. And she can go to full crouch from set by pressing down. This is used commonly from Konimitsu players as well. And some ways to enter set stands are manual, of course, this will be the most common option. From forward four, from katon, and from wastening to four, you can interrupt this easily on block, of course and from back turn 1-3, but this is used mostly for combos. And uh, yeah, I already mentioned Katon stance, which has a couple of gimmicky moves. Katon 1 is probably the best move from Katon, because it's safe, and on uh, counter hit it gives Kuni some free stuff. Uh, it's not too, not too dangerous. But then we have Katon 4. Which is a low. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is launch punishable on block. Yeah, minus 16 and has a high extension. So, duck it. Cut on 3 to minus 16. The first hit is safe. But make sure you launch the second hit. And, uh... The only ways to enter cut on are by pressing 1 plus 2 or from... 1-1, one, one. so just note that your opponent can go to Katon. Be ready for Katon options. Also, one more move from Katon. Katon 2, minus 11 with pushback. That's a pretty decent mid as well. Let me check on the chat. Why is Kuni second Dan offline? Because I haven't... Second Q, you mean? Because I haven't really played with her offline. I didn't grind much treasure battle. She can enter Katon from T2 as well. Oh, see, I didn't know that. But those are her only Katon transitions, right? Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Where was I again? Oh yeah, Katon stance. So that's it for Katon stance. Now let's talk about Bactrian stance. Which is really dangerous. 
Uh, it's been really buffed since, since Tag 2. So, let's talk about her back turn options. Down 2, plus 3 on hit. Counter hit launcher, minus 13 on block, so punish it. It can be sidewalked to your left. I think to your left. Sidewalk left. Yep, sidewalk left. I was right. Uh, back to now. Four, plus one on hit. And uh, Kunimitsu goes to full crouch, so we'll be ready for some full crouch shenanigans. Minus 14 on block. You can sidewalk right this low. Uh, back to down three, standard low poke, plus three on hit. Minus 11 on block, I think. Or 12. I think it's 11. Yeah, 11. Generic back turn low poke. Uh, back turn forward on plus two. This one is dangerous because it's a launcher. Minus 12 on block, so launch it. And it is linear. Back turn one plus two is a safe mid option. Doesn't do anything on counter hit. Back turn three is like an orbital. So in case you start uh, duck jabbing Kunimitsu versus back turn stance, she can do this versus you. And it goes back to back turn stance. Uh, then she has back turn four, which is a homing move from back turn stance. Knocks down on counter hit, or you can... Uh, wait. She gets a guaranteed forward for two, or she can pick up for a combo with CD2. Back turn one, three forward, already talked about that. Mostly used for combos. Back turn two, three, pretty useless string from back turn. Double high, so, you know, duck it. Then she has her back turn jab strings, I already mentioned before. I will talk about these mid extensions more. And, uh... Now she has back turn throws. So she has three back turn throws. You have her, your generic one plus three throws and two plus four throws. But then she has a command throw, one plus four. And you break this by pressing one plus two. And uh, all the three throws have the same grab animation. So you can't tell which throw Kunumitsu is going for, which means you have to guess the correct break or duck and risk getting launched by forward 1 plus 2. Pretty annoying if you ask me. She stole this from Xiaoyu. But anyway, let's talk about some back turn transitions so you know what you're in for if Xiao I mean, uh, Kunumitsu uses these moves. 4-2, which is a 12 frame punisher. By the way, this is a double high, but you cannot duck the second hit. It jails. Pretty sure it jails. But let me test it just to make sure. Not even uh, the CPU can duck it, so it jails. Sidestep 2. Sidestep 2 back. She can uh, stay uh, facing forward to punish you if you decide to interrupt uh, or continue the string with sidestep 1 plus 2, which hurts because it knocks down. And it's minus 10 on block, so... Wait. Yeah, minus 10, so punish it. Oh, uh, then she has back turn 3, which goes back to back turn stance. A manual back turn stance with back 3 plus 4. Back 4. Set 4. Down for 3 plus 4 back, and she can stay uh, facing forward as well. It's safe, by the way, only minus 2 on block. Down for 3 plus 4. Uh, cut on back. The first time a Knumitsu player did this to me, I had no idea what's going on. Because <laughs> she looks like she's doing something, but she's not doing anything. Uh, 1 2 2 back, which is her 10 frame punisher, but as you can see, it's minus even on hit. So if you know a Kuni player is gonna go to back turn, you can interrupt, since uh, the last hit doesn't do anything on counter hit anyway, so. Uh, the risk reward ratio is in your favor if you decide to interrupt. Um, and then 2 2 2 2 2, which is. Uh, 
a string she stole from Noctis. As you can see, the last hit is minus 10. And the third hit is a high, so make sure you duck it. And uh, I'd say that's it for her back turn stance. Yes, I did talk about back turn forward 1 plus 2. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the um, three mid extensions she has from 111, 112, 114, and she has the same extensions from back turn jabs and from uh, set 1 2. Uh, so, okay, this is a really important jab string for Kuni, 1-1, one, one, since it's 10 frames and natural and uh, high mid. And uh, the two of these extensions here, 1-1-1 one, one, one and 1-1-2, one, one, are natural if the second hit is a counter hit. Uh, many Kunimitsus will try to bait you into pressing buttons at the wall to get a launch like this. So be careful. 111 is minus 11, so punish it. 112 is safe, but it can be sidestepped. Uh, when Claudio player sidestepped it today. But only on block, of course. Uh, if 1 1 hits, then you can't interrupt nor step these uh, extensions. 114 uh, is plus 3 on block. So be careful because you can get frame trapped. And uh, if you block 1 1 1, you can float it since it's very slow or just sidestep this mid extension. Uh, since it's plus 3 on block, I'd say some Kunitsu players will try to frame trap you at the wall. Cause uh, 114, I mean 124, is a string with a mid extension, minus 14. But it's natural on counter hit. So if you block this, please punish it. Or she can frame trap with down forward 1, 2, 2. The last hit is minus 14, but force is crouch. So use your wall sending punisher. And the second hit is minus 10. And this string is guaranteed on counter hit as well. So down forward 1, 2, 2 and... Uh, 1 to 4, I'd say, are pretty popular strings at the wall. And she also has down forward 1 3, which is a high extension. Also, counter it launches. Uh, duck it. Hi, bet to zero. What's up? Uh, okay. I already talked about 2 2 2. Back to her power crush. Minus 13, homing. It even ha can hit sidewall since the. Uh, hitbox is pretty low. Down back 1 plus 2 is her backswing low. Minus 14. It has evasion, so be careful. Her rage drive is... Plus 6 on block, so don't get uh, frame trapped afterwards. And it is linear, you can step it. Her down forward 2 is minus 12. You'll see this launcher pretty often. It doesn't hit... Uh, it doesn't launch crouching opponents. Punish it. Oh, uh, down forward 1 plus 2. This is a Yoshi move. Minus 14. Uh, down 2, 1, 2 is safe. But the last extension is minus 13. Back 3, 4. It's minus 20 on block with pushback, and the first hit is minus 10 on block. Forward, 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 2. Another string. Minus 17. Both hits are minus 17. Uh, CD2 is also minus 17. Forward, 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 1. The dagger throw. Please, people, punish this. I can abuse this online. Most people by now figured out that it's unsafe, but if you don't didn't know yet, it is jab punishable. Uh Quadrisuka forward. Two. It's a ground hitting tool. Minus twelve. And uh 
Horses crouch, yeah. So use your while standing four. Uh, and then we have up back two. No. Yeah, this is up back two. Up back two and down forward four are good keep out tools Kunimitsu has, so keep those in mind. Uh, she has two annoying unblockables. Up one plus two. You can jab it, jab it in the air or step it and forward forward one plus two. And this does wall splat. Kunimitsu players will try to wall splat you with this. Uh, it's a high 30 frames fast, so it is duckable on, re on reaction, but it requires some practice if you aren't used to the animation. Uh, up 3 plus 4 is a mid launcher, plus 5 on block, so don't get frame trapped. Uh, also, both up 3 plus 4 and up 1 plus 2 hit grounded. Uh, and I think that's it for the Kuni matchup. Would you say hello to my niece? Of course, how, how is she called? Hello, Tekken Omega's knees. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I think that's it for my Kunimitsu anti strats. I, I I wanted to show you some popular Kunimitsu unsafe moves that you should be able to um, punish. Also, this string is made low and minus seven, minus fifteen. So launch the second hit if you can. You can sidestep right back to cover all options, but 111 becomes minus 10, so might ladder if your 10 frame punisher is bad. Mm. Sidestep right back. Let me test to that. Yeah, it does cover both options. Good. Yeah, good, good. Nice, didn't know this. Thank you for the strats. Hi, West Lakiton. I'm doing well. Should I call you Looney? I'm not sure. Looney, Lily, Linka, whatever you want me to call. And yes, it was YouTube time. This will go to YouTube. But I will add the 111 strat as well. I mean, uh, the sidestep uh, right and back tech, because that's good. I didn't know that. And I think that's going to be it for today. Um, it was a pretty long session, and it's going to be 10 p.m. soon.